So today we are at the flea market. They are still open, which is really cool. And uh, I've been looking, trying to find more stuff to buy and flip. We've about worked our way through our death pile. And uh, everything on this side of the store is 50% off. Kind of neat, but it's starting to get a little, little thin. Not as much stuff. The guy that has all the stuff over here, it's really hard to go out and uh, find stuff, he said. Everything's closed down, so there's a bunch of comic books. It's really just getting ridiculous for us resellers trying to find a bunch of stuff to go out and flip and make money on. I love this case here. Love it. Would love it to be at the store. So I'm in this booth right here, and I found this really cool like cheetah. That's two dollars. I love it. It's metal. And then I got this little brass pig here, which is two bucks. And then I found this triage meter. It's fifteen dollars, and it is about a hundred dollar item on eBay. Now I'm gonna buy it. I don't know if you have to have a license to sell a meteor like this, like a meter. Um, but I'm going to buy it just because it's 15 bucks and take a shot on it. So that's a pretty good score. 15 bucks into like 100. I absolutely love this little clown cookie jar. That is freaking awesome. I love it. You know, if we find a set of plates like this and we do a historic thing, we can use those. For Noah's car? Yeah. Yeah. Only until it's not I love the old buck like saw. Anymore, those are freaking. How much is that? That's only $19.95. That's a really good deal on that. Here's an old pie safe here. That's 20 bucks. Each one of those are individual containers you can put stuff in and carry it all at one time. Typically pies. I'm fairly sure that's what that is. If I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody will correct me. Look at all the homemade crafty stuff over here. I love these American flags. Those are really cool. It's cool. Okay, guys, I'm here in this booth, and I found this freaking awesome oiled uh, Woolworth or Woolrich uh, jacket. It's got the, uh, the quilted liner in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is roughly 25 bucks. But it's 30% off. So this is like what? 17 bucks? That's a $60 to a $80 jacket. That is a good score at the flea market. I'm gonna buy that right now. I absolutely love this like newel post here. It's freaking awesome, but they got 90 bucks on it, and I don't know what I would do with it. I don't know exactly what it would sell for, but I did find some more really cool stuff here. I found this old shutoff handle 450 here's a smaller version for 225 i found a couple of these uh <clears throat> hooks that go on like the end of this here which i actually love that um clothing rack here it's like all wood oh, freaking awesome and then i found this doorknob look at that that's gorgeous it looks like it's a reproduction but i don't know i don't know it looks too good to be good but that's just beautiful they got $7.75 on it. I'm going to buy it because it's 30% off. So it's $2 and something off that. Maybe 3 So like, yeah, I'm going to buy that. I found these old Victorian lights here. Um, antique brass light decor. I'm going to get them. And then here is a couple of really nice uh, latches, door latches. Complete for $6.25 a piece. That's a freaking awesome lot of stuff there. And then I found this. This whole, this thing here is three bucks. It's three dollars. I love the look of that. What do you guys think? This booth really paid off for me. It's awesome. What did you just find? Tape. How much? Well, it'll be $7.50 because it's half price. Oh, $7.50 half price. How many rolls are there? Two, four, six, six rolls. That's awesome. She's a keeper, people. Definitely a keeper. Um, I love this railroad crossing sign here. I think it's freaking awesome. I love it, love it. That looked good down there at the coming in the farm. But I think that it's. 
was for eight bucks. Yep. Yeah, that'd be. I don't. I don't know. They have a couple of them there. I don't know what they sell for at Walmart, but we know they're here, and uh, we can definitely come back and get them. They're not going to go nowhere. So I came back over here, and I found this big Uga horn, <laughs> and I found blood pressure monitor for twelve bucks. The Uga horn is two, and then I found this uh, GFCI or whatever ground fault circuit interrupt switch for um it's three bucks these are that's cheap so we always need one of these um i'll probably sell it i might keep that because i do need to monitor my blood pressure and um that's a that's just cool that's a good deal neat <coughs> i love this old it ain't really old it's a reproduction but it's a blue band uh, water crock for thirty dollars that's really cool i love that and then this is absolutely beautiful. It's 85, 85 bucks though, and it's missing the piece that holds the finial down on top, but it's got all the prisms. Well, it's missing a couple, but that's beautiful. Beautiful lamp. This is a really neat booth. Here's a Pioneer Woman uh, cast iron skillet for 10 bucks. That's gotta be a good price, I would assume. Um, it wouldn't be much cheaper than that at Walmart for sure. I love these little water Look at these these are gorgeous how do you guys like those those are freaking awesome 15 bucks a piece 15 15 and then this one here is 17.50 it isn't marked is it nope let me see here that's cool I wonder what the indention is on the bottom on that one this one is oxford wear and then this one is probably made after the same design, but this one's heavy. You can tell that's heavy. This is lighter, so that's that's pretty good quality. Okay, folks, this is probably one of the funniest things that I found today. You too can have your marijuana comforter for the low, low price of $34. So if anyone needs a weed comforter, you know where to come get them. Or if you want one, let me know. Maybe I can pick it up and ship it to you. Um, I'm not above doing that because I know talking about you Shane rising grind picker okay guys so I just found this IBM ThinkPad laptop it's got Windows 98 I tell you guys all the time I preach to you about buying computers it's got the Pentium 2 processor comes with this case it is a whopping five dollars and the retail value one sold that booted and worked sold on eBay for 200 bucks so I'm gonna buy this for five bucks untested I know that even at five bucks if I buy it and it boots that it will um, it, it, it'll bring me at least a hundred bucks if it doesn't boot I know I can probably get 50 for it for parts so <laughs> don't be passing up on them computers guys don't be sleeping this is the money right here five bucks this guy didn't know what he had and I do I do now five bucks Warren okay guys it never got the ring. yeah i know it's a shame yeah. uh this is really cool i found this up here it's to chicago gym warren moon number one it's a football autographed by warren moon and it's only 15 bucks that's freaking awesome oh, yeah. like i gotta have that if if not to sell maybe to keep i'm not sure but like that's neat it's an old oh, nfl yeah. Pro, it's missing the, uh, the the little valve right there to blow it up, but I mean, he ain't gonna be playing with it. It's a freaking Warren Moon autograph. How in the world? I mean, imagine coming into an, uh, a place like this and finding Warren Moon for 15 bucks. You guys need to come down and check out Red's uh, Flea Market down 67 South, right south of Farmington. You can find all kinds of cool stuff. Look at all that stuff I got. They're working diligently over there to pack up all my stuff, but Getting it taken care of. that's pretty cool. That's a neat, neat find right there. You do this one? This guy always brings in the coolest stuff. I love that little, uh, little bar stand right there. It's just a little place you can put out on your patio, a little thing you can put out on your patio and throw your whatnots in there, a little alcohol. Um, you got these beautiful little uh, ice cream parlor chairs. I love the ones with the twisted hearts. Those are awesome. I'm not sure if I fill in the crocodile skin on it, but the ones in the back look awesome. Here's a little teeter tot baby bouncer. I've bought several of those. That's really cool. Um, let's see what else he's got here. Oh, I love this camera. Twenty five bucks. That's nice. Beautiful little piece of glass, carnival glass here. 
not marked. Look at this piece of hobnail. That's Fenton for $9.50. $9.50 for that. That is freaking awesome. Look at all these lamps up here. If you like lamps, this guy's got them for sure. He's a neat, neat, kind old man. He, <laughs> he has a lot of time on his hands, so he's always building. He normally has a bunch of furniture in here. He's built like this right here. These little planters. I love these sets of silverware. This is what you always have to be on the look for. This is $39.90 or $39 firm. But I bet you there's probably um that's that set there probably sells for 80 bucks, I would guess. This set here would sell for about 80. Um Tuxedo plate Oneida community. This is beautiful here too. I love that. But it's not as full. He's got 69 on it. And it's not, it's only got forks and spoons and knives. So, if you can see here, that's really cool. So he knows this stuff. So, I don't really get a lot of deals from him. Look at this. It's freaking awesome. I love this old sifter. It is 11 bucks. See, $11 for that cool old sifter. Here's you have a really rare coffee pot. Let's see if anyone catches that. Really rare coffee pot. Makes the best coffee ever. Love that red and white enamelware pot down there. This is an excellent booth here. They always have the coolest stuff here. All these beautiful little bud vases right there. They're so neat. I love the little milk glass. That little red one's pretty too. Um, apparently she's making, I don't know if she's making her own candles now. Or if she's buying them and putting them in here. But she's really a cool chick. I've had an opportunity to talk to her several times. And she finds all kinds of neat stuff. This is her booth too. She has all these neat shirts. I want to get my wife one of these shirts. It says the Rural Housewives of Missouri. And it's got the state there. It's really cool. And she has all kinds of neat stuff. Neat stuff. I love that set of blue uh, granite ware down there. That's cool. This is just some ideas. If you have antique booths, it's kind of an idea. Look at that. That looks so good you could eat it. I love the pigs on it. It smells delicious too. That's awesome. What's this? It's called farmhand charcoal. How neat. Look at the little bear. He's cute. He is adorable. She does such a good job decorating her booths. Such a good job. I love the old milk crate down there. Probably seal test or something like that old dairy crate <clears throat> and she's got one more booth over here that looks fantastic I love the wood I love this wood I don't know how she stained it I'm guessing she uses different stains on the boards but it looks fantastic she did a fantastic job love it 50% off all pink items mm -hmm. Okay guys, so this is pretty much my antique haul that I got for the store. I got this really cool little rocking chair for kids. I got these door uh, back plates for the knobs and stuff. I got this awesome little pig. I got this fantastic uh, little cheetah. I love that. Uh oh, he fell over. I did get this horn, which is freaking awesome. Look how cool that is. And thing works awesome. I did get a series of hats here. I got a couple of these old Farm Bureau hats. Belgrade State Bank hat. It's filthy. I don't know if it'll sell for anything. Probably go to the trash. That's a Dairyman Incorporated. Um, it's also kind of dirty, but maybe somebody will want it. An MFA hat. Uh, I bought all of these hats for a dollar. So that was a pretty good deal. <clears throat> I paid a dollar for the board. Um, I can't remember what I paid. I think I paid like three for that and two for that. I paid two a piece for the little silver things here. And I paid two bucks for that horn, which is really cool. Um, I ended up getting these little rosettes. They're for lights. Kind of cool. That actually is part of an old light. Um, paid like three bucks for this. I got these. I paid three bucks for those. Got this doorknob here. It's beautiful. I love that rainbow color there. It's kind of cool. That black onyx with the uh, 
with a rainbow and then that doorknob is absolutely beautiful um i did get these latches here hopefully it's not too loud out here i'm out in front of my store and there's a lot of traffic um all of a sudden here is a latch for a screen door it says but i'm not exactly sure it takes the old skeleton keys um i got a couple of these old knobs look how big that is i think it's huge it's freaking awesome um love it love it and then i got its little sister right there which is really cool and uh i got this really neat brass i paid 18 dollars for it 30 percent off for this little brass uh gutter i did get a yearbook from 1980 from quippy wherever that's at looks like they're the little blue devils this was the neater item that i picked up today it is a warren moon autograph ball to someone by the name of chicago jim which is kind of cool i'm not exactly sure who chicago jim is but apparently um he knew warren moon or when got an autograph from warren moon which is kind of cool um i did get this wooden horse i paid i believe 18 dollars for it but there's a price tag on the bottom of it for 75 and he is super awesome i love it i got these jeans i paid uh four dollars for these brand new levi's with the tags you can't go wrong with that i got this stick here it's lurch's pro licks liquid feed um frederick town missouri it's kind of cool it does have the three digit or the 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 seven digit number so it isn't super old and it did have a little break right there but i paid a buck for it okay so i had these amber crombie and fitch for these wooden paddles i'm not too sure about where they came from or what their purpose is but they're kind of cool i don't know if they're like little boat paddles i have no idea <laughs> i know they made some outdoor stuff um so i have those paddles they come in that nice little bag i paid like six bucks for them minus 30 percent, which was a really good deal and then i picked up this uh old coat it's like an oiled oiled coat i don't know exactly what to call it i just know i've seen them before and i've sold them before this was actually um i think it was 25 bucks and i got a 30 percent off and then i got this stetson hat it is a john b stetson company three times beaver it's kind of cool has that inside of it and then i i paid it was 850 and i got it for 30 percent off and then i had the mannequin here and i got that for three dollars 30 percent off so the thing is is that you have to really when the antique stores open back up and the antique malls and stuff like that open back up there's gonna be a lot of good deals to find there's gonna be a ton of good deals i'm gonna show you just a couple of the items that i got here um this roll of tape you've seen in the video i got that blood pressure monitor for 12 i got this for 15 and i got this for three and there are those mustang wheels that i gotta put in the basement until they sell so that's pretty much it i want to tell you guys i really appreciate you watching the video hope you enjoyed it hope you really enjoy uh this is the kind of stuff that i want to be doing from here on out uh, i still will be doing some what sold videos and stuff like that but i'm got a few really cool picks lined up to where i'm actually going to be going out picking in some barns and some people's houses and going to look through some private collections so i hope you guys look forward to that i'm really wanting to take my youtube channel to the next level um and i hope you guys come with me so if you would be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, be sure to hit that like button and we appreciate you guys for watching god bless keep on picking and keep on digging and remember the family that picks together sticks together good night